Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, the latest streetwear news, and of course, well, in the series, we just discuss anything to do with streetwear. In today's video, I'm going to be covering all my thoughts and opinions on Kith's Spring 2022 lookbook. Ugh. Good afternoon, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I, I'm kind of bummed out. I wanted to cover the lookbook for this season yesterday, on Thursday, because a couple of my mates hit me up saying, let's get together on the Friday, enjoy the sun. It doesn't go down until like 8 or 9 p.m. Have a couple beers, send off the end of the week with some fun times. And I was like, cool. I'll cover the lookbook on Thursday and clock off work and just get ready for that. But no, Ronnie Fire was like, no, no, no. Let's drop the lookbook for the spring 2022 season just hours before the season is set to drop. Just to ruin your plans. <laughs> Obviously it wasn't done on purpose. It all just like laid out that way. I was like, oh, well, I could just skip the season, but I can't because we got that little taste of the Steve Buscemi little, uh, I guess mini lookbook like yesterday or a couple days beforehand. I can't remember when the Steve Buscemi uh, mini lookbook dropped, but what I saw, I was impressed with. I was like, damn, I cannot skip covering this spring 2022 season because Steve rocking those pieces, there were some sick looking pieces that he was rocking. And if that's just a taste of what's to come in the spring 2022 season, Damn, there are going to be some good pieces releasing this season. So in today's video, of course, I'm going to be covering all the release details to do with the spring 2022 season. I'm going to cover all the official images from the lookbook, and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on the pieces that I think are worth highlighting and just the any thoughts I have to do with the lookbook in general. Now, how we're going to cover all those details is, of course, by using a Kith blog post. Uh, we'll cover the release details first and then the lookbook itself. So let's dive in. Let's go cover the release details for this spring 2022 season. And here we are at the Kith blog post that I'll be using today. If you guys want to check it out, it of course will be linked down in that description section below. We'll cover the release details here and then we'll dive into all the images that we have of this season so get hyped for that it's going to be a big one and how do i know it's going to be a big season well as i zoom in here we can see that in well at least i can see my big ass head's covering half of it <laughs> that we are getting a kith 88 piece spring 2022 inline collection and on top of that on the same day we are getting the spring 2022 classics what does that mean? We are getting an 88 piece spring collection. And then on top of that, we are getting the essentials line for the spring 2022 season releasing that same day. So we're getting, you know, like Fear of God essentials, we're getting the Kith spring essentials. That's going to be huge. That is so many pieces of clothing and just releasing. That's absolutely insane. Featuring a palette rooted in washed indigo, mushroom, and earth tone neutrals, putty whites, dust, mint, and cool toned cacao, Spring 22 centers the debut of Kit's denim collection. I'm interested. And within Spring Classics, an active story within the assortment. The inline collection introduces Kit denim, the timelessly silhouetted embroidered Varric denim je jeans, and Ellis denim jacket. Those are the two pieces that we saw recently in the recent Monday program, where they did the floral embroidery all over it. Now the jacket was a little bit controversial because it is a reversible jacket with a diamond quilt interior, and it looks very similar to a reclaimed jacket. Uh, yeah. Even Reclaimed made a note of that by commenting on the Monday program. <laughs> so yeah, we'll let you guys have that discussion in the comment section below, but uh, very interesting about the Ellis denim jacket there. We're also getting a patchwork tote in denim. The Kith denim offerings is finished with a brand signature Kith serif logo with debossed veg or uh, veg tan leather patch custom brushed nickel hardware and satin damask branding and labeled throughout. 
it sounds steezy as hell and we kind of get a taste of it to start off with elsewhere in the selection kith also introduced a transitional outwear piece the madison 3 parker a long uh sorry a long line two-way zip coat with a custom kith mountain patch the ben bengolia ben bengolia yeah floral williams 3 hoodie can be paired with the uh, Bengalia Floral Williams 1 sweatpants, maintaining the same sophisticated fit and proportions, but with matching fabrication and a range of colorways to choose from. The Classics collection features a focus on Kit's men's active in dusty earth tones and traditional pastels, or pastels. Alongside the true active pieces, Kit Men's introduces lifestyle options, including the Win uh, Winsor or Winsor panel track jacket in a custom 89 GSM wrinkle nylon in transitional pastels with a custom Pegasus embroidery on the left chest. That is a lot of details to read out, but I'm sure we'll get a visualization of it when we actually go into the lookbook. Uh, the Windsor panelled track jacket is a perfect second layer uh, lockup and can be paired with the signature LS uh, long sleeve Quintee in a pastel plaster. All active pieces are paired with corresponding dad caps in the full active uh, ooh, palette assortment. Sorry. The footwear component. Okay, so this is where we're going to cover the collaborations that are going to be releasing this season for the footwear. We've got the Ronnie Feig and Clark's original fourth installment of 8th Street releasing this season. The Lock Hill Silhouettes is introduced uh, in the first installment runways in the new colorways. Blue, yellow, pink, blue. The Clark's Ronnie Feig season 2 Lock Hill is composed of a soft suede upper and a genuine crepe outside. The season 2 Lock Hill is the perfect detail to add to any outfit, pulling together the earthy hu uh, hues and tones of Spring 1. Okay, that kind of gets me worried. Is this the spring one season? Are they doing a second half of this? They kind of indicated that it was just one, but if this is uh, if this is spring, oh my god, it is! Oh my god! So there is going to be a second half. Ronnie Feig is releasing an eighty-eight season, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do a second half." What? He's a madman! <laughs> what? Damn, Ronnie. Damn, man. That's crazy. Most people tap out at like 20 pieces on a season and then like higher end fashion brands obviously do a lot more, but he is going all out. That is crazy. Wow. Okay, so guys, we're changing the title of the video. It went from Kith 2022 lookbook to the Kith Spring, oh sorry, Kith Spring 2022 lookbook to the Kith Spring 1 2022 lookbook. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe there's going to be a second installment. That is crazy. Okay, guys, well, we will cover the second installment when that comes around. But this is just the first installment. This first installment releases Friday, February 11th at all Kith shops, as well as 11 a.m. Kith uh, Eastern Standard Time on Kith.com, 11 a.m. Central European Time on EU.Kith.com. That is crazy, though. Wow. So... We are getting Kith Spring 1, the 88-piece Spring 2022 collection releasing today alongside the women's and kids stuff. That's crazy. Let's get into it. Let's start covering the lookbook for this season and see what awesome pieces we are getting. And here we are, finally, at the lookbook. <laughs> Lots to go through. So as we can see, we can see the chore. I guess this is the Ellis jacket that's first showcased up here. Uh, it comes in a very nice white color. I mean, I'm assuming that's the case because they were talking about the veg tan leather uh, embossed panel on the back there. I mean, it looks quite nice. This looks quite different from the jacket that we saw in the Monday program. So maybe it's not that. Maybe this is just part of the denim series. But either way, this is a very nice first jacket to be showcased in this lookbook here. Moving on, it looks like we've got some carpenter pants. I'm judging that by all the pockets and stuff. I'm unsure if they're double knees. I didn't actually catch the front of them. They're not double knees, single knee pants there. That's all good. I mean, they look kind of nice. It, it works very well with the tones of the jacket up top there. The styling is very much on point. We've got a very nice cream and white varsity jacket being showcased here with the Kith K there on the left breast. I'm assuming this is probably gonna be the Golden Bear Varsity jacket of some sorts. I love this chenille graphic here with the Pegasus on it. It looks really nice. I love the colors of it, the colors of this jacket. 
very very nice we've got a very utilitarian jacket being showcased up next and the floral pattern makes another debut the one that we saw in the monday program showcased on some pants and a button-up shirt here or maybe it's a jacket kind of hard to tell with the layering there no it's the jacket okay well i still think it looks like the jacket so this looks to be the monday program pieces showcased here i the styling the colors are really nice and I love the detail on the pants and jacket. It's just crazy. We've got a very sporty looking jacket here, collared with a nice little pattern over it. I like the uh, vertical uh, little, uh, I guess, I'm, I, I don't know how to describe it, like quilted lines on it, I suppose. It looks really nice. I like the pattern on this one. That's a really solid outwear piece there. Got some denim, we've got the Clarks being showcased to us, they've been showcased to us a few times already. We've got, I mean, I I would call it a jacket as well, um, but it almost looks thin enough to be just an overshirt. We've got a very nice looking knit there that I think I remember so, uh, looking at Steve wearing. I like the colours and graphic on this knit, I think this knit is sick. Um, and having like these, it's, Jap it's Japanese inspired isn't it? It's Shinjuku, Ginza. It's got to be, right? Yeah. Those pants are a little bit too utilitarian for me, but look at the pockets and everything. Pocket there, pocket there. Crazy. Another jacket with some more all over prints. Nice. Nice pants. Showcasing with some more sneakers in it. Yeah, I the crew neck's quite nice. I like the like that chenille K with the Pegasus on it. Um, this is a, the stuff that they were talking about before. I really like the colors and i really like that chenille graphic there we've got some matching sweatpants and hoodie there with an all-over print on it a little bit too wild for me but the jacket is really nice really nice colors look at this i mean i think it looks very nice <laughs> and so many pockets on it as well it looks like i can't tell if that's a vertical or a horizontal pocket maybe it's an internal one uh, we've got some external pockets as well Got the whole sweatsuit going on with the all over print. Um, I just don't think I'd wear that all over print. A little bit too wild for me. Got a denim jacket being showcased to us here with a lot of uh, different little logos on it and Kith spelt out over the top of it there. Oh, TH Kith, yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly thought that looked like a whale initially, but K-I-T-H, of course. Very weird to have the T a little bit too off center there. I didn't register that that was Kith initially, but maybe that's just me. Maybe it's because it's Friday and all I can think about was clocking off <laughs> and I didn't see it there. Now it's a lot more apparent. Yeah, Kith. Yeah, okay. I thought I personally would have moved the T down a little bit just to like have it work, but I'm not a designer. <laughs> you know, what do I know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. The color, the tones and colors are really nice in this collection. We got a nice jacket there, nice denim jacket. That's really nice. It looks really nice over the top of that um that button up there. Nice. Oh, that's clean. That's clean. That looks nice. More denim being showcased. This would be the uh, Madison jacket that they were talking about before. The different rendition of that. There we go. We get it showcased to us here. I love the panels on here. It's not uh, like normal jackets where they're um, symmetrical on both sides you know how the panels are always the same asymmetrical right um having them very different from the other side i really like that approach i think it adds a little bit more flavor to it it makes it a little bit more different uh and the colors on it are really well done having it like all i guess all orange but all done in different shades and stuff that's nice oh i like that denim jacket one of my is it my only blue denim jacket in my... Wow, okay. I think my only blue denim jacket in my collection right now is a Kith one. I was going to say, because I love Kith denim. They do a really good job with their denim, I got to say. I like this all over print uh, cloud jacket here. And with the... Ooh, with the... Okay, can I get some more shots of this? Yeah. This is nice. This is really nice, actually. Yeah. What, what material is it? It doesn't look like tapestry, but it's got a texture to it. You can see it when you look over here. That's really nice. The accessories, like the bags and stuff are really cool. I haven't, like, I don't think of Kith doing like stuff like this. So this is really nice to see. Um, button up tee, not really my flavor. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a navy version of the varsity jacket. 
That's got me on board. I mean, I love the cream one, but a navy one as well. And look at the colors. They all match the shoes. You've got white, brown, and navy on the shoes. And then it all just matches the... Oh, man. That's crazy. That's like... That works too well. <laughs> Imagine having three different colors on your shoes and being able to match all three colors on your uh, outfit as well. Crazy. Yeah, look at... Damn. That's a fit. You know, that all works together. We've got the uh, jacket I discussed before appearing in another color there. Um, not really feeling it as much. We've got a zip up uh, double chest pocket jacket here as well. Matching shorts. It's a nice color. It's a very nice blue they've chosen there. We've got, uh, was that the Madison jacket again or not? It kind of looks like it from the paneling, but I don't see the hood. Oh no, okay. Maybe it is. With the I like the, the, the use of white zips. It's very good with the contrasting and it works very well with the Kith branding as well. Like it does, the Kith branding doesn't feel out of place because of the white zips, or at least that's how I feel about it. I think that's a very smart way of handling it. Wow, that's a really nice color for the hoodie. I really like that. That's really nice. And oh, sorry, I totally skipped over it. New York Yankees, of course, classic Kith with a nice floral embroidery on the side. You know, we've got to keep it summery. We've got to, got to keep it in line with the collection. With some flowers on the side <laughs> it works and they've done a good job they've done a good job to make sure you remember this is the spring one um yeah very dark outfit it's, it's so different i've seen so many nice light colors let me get with this dark outfit damn and we've got a different color of the knit as well i can see a blue variation underneath there but a nice jacket there as well i like the detail the details it's all about the details this veg tan Kith Emboss logo here. Nice. And we got the Kith custom buttons. Nice. It's the little details. Nice. Uh, this jacket featuring again here in another color. Oh, the bag kind of nice. That tote though. I like it. I like it's, uh, yeah, it's horizontal lines here and stuff. That's cool. The shoes are all right. Not really my style, but oh, yo, that cardigan though. <laughs> I love its different colors with like the separation of them like different colors have been separated by this really really hectic embroidery uh, well I'm not saying embroidery but the seam or whatever you want to call it that's really I uh, that knit that knit though well the knit cardigan like right cra crazy look at this damn that's wild that's crazy I I don't even know what to say it's it's awesome Oh, and then the colors have been translated to a jacket as well. That's a really nice jacket. I really like the like ice cream color scheme. <laughs> you know how you buy those ice creams with three different flavors? There you go. You get a jacket with six of them right here. <laughs> that is cool. That is really, really cool. I I hope we see more of this. I, like, It's not even a gradient because it's so clearly blocked off. But yeah, that's cool. That's nice. What was the point of this photo? I guess to zoom in the details, I don't know, I, I, yeah. Uh, we've got more of these striped pieces here. I'm not really feeling those as much. We got the nice Pegasus uh, track jacket that was being discussed before here. Like the little logo on it, it looks nice. We've got, whew, trench coat. We don't normally see a lot of trench coats appearing in Kith seasons, uh, at, at least these days. But that one's a nice one. And we've got an alternate color of the knit under there in like this like, pastel green and other colors i think i'm feeling the first colors more but it's still looks quite nice i'd love like a shoot by itself just to see how it looks underneath with just this green color here but like look how well all the colors work in this outfit from the brown to the green to the cream nice that's it just works really really well cool little utilitarian bag down here Yo, this color is way better than the one before. Like I was, I was highlighting how much uh, this color here looked. Nah, man. Okay, the blue one. <laughs> yeah, yo, <laughs> that's sick. That's awesome. Look at that. Oh, and the knit underneath works really, really well. I love the details on the knit, the chain uh, link knit. Really cool. Yeah. Look at this. And like, oh, and how, okay, so we see how there's this, uh, hor uh, this vertical line coming down the center here. I love that it like 
cuts off the shoulders where the shoulders connect to the arms. That looks sick. I really like the positioning of those lines. Maybe it was intentional, maybe it was not, but I do really like where they're situated, like right on the seam to the arm. That's cool. That's really well done. I hope that comes in like some other really nice basic colors, like all the other colors they were highlighting in the details part. That would be sweet. Um, the jacket, more of the hats being showcased, side bags being showcased. Ooh, look at that denim. Let's go. Yes. With the flowers. Okay. Thank you, Kith, for putting embroidery details down the uh, near the waist area here and along where the buttons are i swear to god whenever brands do like heaps of embroidery on denim they never touch those areas with the embroidery and even the collar he's got it on the collar as well thank you ronnie for putting that detail on there as well it makes it look so much better having the embroidery on all those little areas as well that's sick that is an awesome piece i love that and the piece underneath it works really really well with it Ah, so this is the jacket that I was referring to earlier. The one that stirred up a little controversy. So see how it's reversible and you got the diamond quilt here. It looks very nice. I gotta say, as much as I'm like, wow, how dare you uh, copy or take influence from Reclaim's ideas. They've done it very well. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's that looks really nice. <laughs> but yeah, oh man. That's, yeah, I like this. I like this one. Damn. I, didn't, I was like, I'm going to spend this money on, that I'm saving up on Undercover. Yeah, I need to, I need to stick with it. I can't be like, yeah, I'm going to buy Kith instead because that's really, really nice. Wow. Uh, we've got the Madison jacket appearing again in a nice cream color with the matching hoodie and shorts. Pretty wild here and a cap as well, of course. Uh, we've got more of the vertical striped pieces being showcased to us. I like the hoodie. The pants you can kind of miss me with, but the hoodie we've seen in a couple colors so far, and the hoodie was nice. And I really like those like off-white, creamy uh, drawstrings as well. Looks really, really nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's a solid hoodie. I'd like this one, but it sells out instantly these days. It's like the new Supreme. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Nothing really here speaking to me too much. Nothing I can see myself wearing, but nice styling nonetheless. Oh. That's me right there. <laughs> That's my outfit right there. Except I maybe change out the shoes and the hoodie, but love that varsity. Uh, ABC, so I'm assuming it's with Advisory Board Crystals. I didn't read anything about that collab, but maybe I'm reading the ABC wrong. Does the ABC stand for something else? I don't know. I, I can't, does it say it there? Ah, oh, it's so hard to read. I love the huge patches all over this piece though. Um, we've got little stamps on the side of the arm it looks really nice i was right advisory board crystals there we go so there it says their advisory board crystals they've collaborated with them in the past for monday programs and now they're in a season this varsity jacket is gonna cost dumb money but i think it's sick i love that huge artwork that circular artwork on the back that almost takes up the whole back panel that looks awesome the hoodie underneath looks really cool as well. I want to see it by itself. Love both of those pieces though. That is crazy stuff. Uh, nothing really here speaking to me too much. I like the textured hoodie, actually. Looking at it, it looks very textured. I like the textured hoodie. Easy. The jacket, the nylon one, not so much. We've got the matching denim to the jacket that we saw before, and then a print version on this hoodie. Uh, I like the denim. The denim's very cool there. Actually, I've got to say, the hoodie looks cool as well. I, maybe it was the drawstrings. As soon as I saw the drawstrings, I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> but it is. That is really nice. Solid. And I'm looking good. Oh, I like that hoodie. It's childish. It's fun. It looks like the gimmicky, like, touristy merch that you see in Times Square. That's cool. I heart with Kith in, in the middle of it. ABC. Advisory Board Crystal. And, like, look at the, the Kith logo in there. That's cool. Oh, and it's like a corduroy patch as well. I like that. That is a solid hoodie. That's fun. Yo, we got little, little crystals in there. Little uh, gems or whatever. I like the attention to detail. That's crazy. We've got more of the basics being showcased to us. That is it. Wow. Kith one. There was so much here. Oh my, I thought it would never end. 
I thought that we were just going to keep going. 88 pieces felt like forever. Let's talk about the highlights. Oh my god, let's close out of this and talk about the highlights. Jeez, there were so many. Okay, so the denim. Love the denim this season. Love the varsity jackets this season. Loved the knit cardigans. They were sick. Loved whatever the hell this jacket is. That was dope. Loved the ABC stuff. Wherever that ABC stuff was at the bottom. Yeah, the varsity jacket, top notch. The hoodie, awesome. I love that taking influence from like uh, touristy stuff. That's sick. That's awesome. It screams New York. That is sweet. The, uh, the all over print stuff was a little bit hit or miss for me. It all depended on the color. This one grew on me, but the initial green color we saw of it wasn't hitting for me. Liked the stripe stuff. This spring season was awesome. It's spring one. It's not even the second half. We haven't even seen the second half of this season. That's a lot to live up to. I hope that spring two is just as good as this spring one here, but spring one came packing. Ronnie Feig came in with season one, uh, with, with the first season of this year and was like, we're taking no prisoners. We're going all out. This jacket was crazy. This all over print one here. God damn, Kith is just like progressively getting better and better. I don't know why more people aren't talking about this brand. This is just an absolutely crazy season. It's awesome. There's a piece here for everyone. This varsity jacket, how could I forget about that? There's just too many pieces. I'm forgetting about it already. I loved this season. There was so, well, this first half of this season at least. Spring one was awesome. Uh, I'd love to hear how you guys feel about it. This is a crazy season. What do you? What are your thoughts about the lookbook? Let me know down in that comment section below. Oh, I feel exhausted after that. <laughs> what a season to cover. Oh my God. The spring one 2022 season. I didn't even know that it was only the first half until I was halfway through the release details and they were like, oh yeah, this was only part one. 88 pieces, part one. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's absolutely wild. And I was going in thinking, man, I like a couple pieces. There were more pieces in here that I liked than I was expecting. Most of it was outwear. That's generally how I feel. I come to these streetwear brands for the outwear. It's just where I go to. But there was a lot here. A lot that I want. I could, oh, man. I wish I had Ronnie Feig on speed dial and a lot of money and I could just be like, dude, how much? Because <laughs> this is crazy. This is an awesome season. I'm keen to see what's coming in spring two though. Is the sequel going to be as good as the original? Hey man, that's all up to Ronnie Fike on what he delivers to us. <laughs> we'll have to stay tuned and see though. Spring two could be really, really cool as well. We don't know, maybe it'll beat spring one. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. I want to hear from you guys though. Spring one, are you copying anything? If you are copying something, what are you copying? Please let me know if you're going to be picking up something and what you're going to be picking up down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming kit seasons, releases and collaborations, you got to give me the three indicators. You got to give me a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And of course, you got to leave me the best indicator of all a subscribe to the channel. We're trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month of 3,270 subs. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that's all I gotta say about this season, guys. It's releasing today, February the 11th. Spring one is coming in hard. I hope you guys managed to pick up the pieces that you're after in the size and color that you're after. But uh, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Monday program video, until the next Kith video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.